So it's the end of February and we're here at Price's Corner. We're gonna go into Target and see what kind of retro toys they have because it's been about a month since we checked out this particular one. So you never know what changes in a month. The last time they were kind of picked over from what I thought, my opinion. So let's see what happens here. So in Target, there's two places we gotta check. One is of course the toy section. And then after that, we gotta check back by the electronics because they do keep some retro toys back there. Stop by the Hot Wheels section, check this out. The Penguin Duck from Batman Returns. That's pretty cool. Do like the Mario Kart character cars. All right, they got Yoshi up here, or blue Yoshi, light blue Yoshi, green Yoshi, plethora of Yoshis. What'd you push down there? Ah, look at this. Oh, look at the gliders back here. They got everybody. There's like a whole set. That is one to get. I wonder how these guys do on the track though. I mean, some of them look like they might do all right, but those ones with the gliders, I just don't see them going too well. I don't see that being too efficient. But here's some other Mario Kart characters as well. And they should have Mario Party here. Mario Party, yeah, that'd be cool. Look, why is he driving a shoe though? Mm. Look at this, Wario. Oh man, that's pretty cool. I wish their Hot Wheels were so expensive. Jeez. Those are, yeah, they're five ninety nine. The character cars aren't cheap. Now the regular Hot Wheels are like ninety nine cents. Here's Wario with like the woodchuck thing. See? Oh, and then we got some Motu up here. We got the Wind Raider. That's pretty neat. And then some color changers now we got some of the big monster trucks down here I this one, one looks kind of 90s I look at the design on it you got one that's like what this big i've seen that one isn't it it's a little bigger than this one isn't it mm -hmm. look at this though they got the monster wash that's pretty cool they got the muscle car right over here yeah, I like the muscle cars. The only thing is, is they fall outside of the Hot Wheels realm, so I don't pay them much not much mind. But check out this old Mustang too, though. Johnny Lightning. That's another one that's really cool. 1985 Ford Mustang. Oh, look at this. Is that Bigfoot? I think it is. And then definitely, how cool is this Mario Kart track? I'd kind of like to get this thing. Check it out, coming around the action figure side. We got some characters from the Batman, the move, new movie that's coming out. Pretty cool. And then a radio controlled Batmobile. And then we got the Batmobile that comes with the Batman action figure. This is pretty cool. Oh, and then we got some of the Batman accessories and the Batman action figures. I'll tell you what, I can't wait till this movie comes out. It is gonna be awesome. And these figures, they're only $7.99. So, we should probably get one. I would think so. Especially being here in Delaware with the tax-free shopping. And it looks like there's two variations. There's the wingsuit Batman. And then there's just Batman. Each has somewhat different accessories. So panning over here. Oh, look at this. You know, ever since I saw this one at, was it GameStop? I've been looking for them. And I don't want to get it online because it's kind of like the thrill of the hunt. You know, I want to come across it in a store and get it. But the only ones I've seen have been a Kiko, Baroness. I think I saw Lady J. Let's see who we got, Duke. Lady J. And then Snake Eyes down here. So then we got some of the Kenner 
Marvel figures. These guys are pretty cool too. I really like the retro look. Like the artwork on the packaging. So coming around the corner, right on the end cap, we've got some of the retro He-Man figures. These guys are pretty cool. I definitely would like to add Kaldor and Origins Cronus to my collection, but I also really like this vehicle here, and it just has that classic retro look to it. Really like the retro feel they've been giving these He-Man figures. Okay, so here's a pretty cool aisle uh, in Target. We've got some of the WWE figures, Cowboy Bob Orton. That's a good find right there. Oh, and check this out. Jake the Snake Roberts. Now these are awesome. And if it wasn't for me finding this Cobra Commander right here, I would be getting some of these. These are the droids from the Star Wars cartoon. And the first time I saw them was the last time I was in Target. But really cool. And they have C-3PO. Not sure if they have anybody else. Just C-3PO. But still cool. I like the classic look they're giving to these figures here too. They have different points of articulation, but they do have a classic look. Ooh, nice. I don't think I've seen him before. But here we are, the section that we look forward to, the He-Man section. And we got He-Man, He-Man, He-Man. There has been a huge variety at this particular target the last couple times I've been here. And actually, I have the original Mosquito upstairs, the house. Look at this, trap jaw. That's pretty cool. And these guys are only $9.99. That's not a bad price, actually, for these guys. These are from the Netflix He-Man series, Masters of the Universe. We watched that one, too. Alex, which one did you like better? What? Okay, you remember watching these He-Man episodes? There was this one that had, like, the big He-Man. Remember, he's kind of disproportionate, yeah. like pictured there mm -hmm. and then they had the other one that looked more like the classic he-man the revelation you remember this one yeah i like that one more me too revelation was i think my favorite mm -hmm. and we got battle armor he-man with battle cat and how cool is this strador i have him upstairs as well i brought him down out of the attic Cool with the gun, the tail gun. All right, so here's where we're talking about heading over to the portion of the electronics section where we can also see some perhaps retro figures over here. All right, we got Stranger Things. Looks like it's all the same figure there. Ah, Van Helsing, the Mego action figure. Now this is cool. See, I really like these Mego action figures here. That's pretty cool. We got some more Stranger Things figures. The 60s Batman Riddler. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Now when I was up in the attic the last time, I found Frankenstein that was this scale. And I had Phantom of the Opera at one point, but it looks like they brought them back. And it's crazy because I was just talking about these guys. Then I find the Frankenstein and now here they are in the store. And they also have the mummy. That's pretty cool. And I bet he glows in the dark. Now there's the whole collection on the back. 